And the very latest includes news on Jamison Tyone. And was this news that anybody saw coming today, Meredith? It wasn't, Bob. It certainly came as a little bit of a surprise, but the injury hits just keep on coming for this Yankees team this season. It was announced earlier today that Jamison Tyone was headed to the 10-day injured list. He injured a tendon in his right ankle. Aaron Boone said they do not believe it's that severe. They're not exactly sure when the injury happened, other than saying it did take place during last start. Now, Jamison Tyone has had a PRP injection. He's currently in a walking boot. He'll remain there for the next couple of days, and then the Yankees will reevaluate. Aaron Boone seemed fairly optimistic that he would perhaps only miss one start, but I asked Aaron Boone if that is a realistic possibility considering he does have a tear in his tendon. Am I confident? No. Um, I, I know it's when I first heard that, I, um, it sounds worse than it is, um, but his body's going to tell, tell us what he's able to handle. So we'll see how he is once he gets out of the walking boot, where he is this weekend as far as his throwing, when he can get back up on the mound. Um, I think there is a chance he only misses one, but it could be something that drags on. We just have to see how he responds. Is this a matter of if he goes back out there, he could potentially do more damage, or is it more a pain management issue? Yeah, it, it's more what he can tolerate and what he's able to do. Yeah. That's my understanding of it. And with Tyone heading to the injured list, here's a look at the Yankees' roster moves for today. They were called Sal Romano from AAA, Jonathan Davis, designated for assignment. Also noteworthy on the injury front, Zach Britton had surgery on his elbow yesterday. When we spoke to him at the stadium, he knew that he had to get the bone chips removed, but he thought there might be a little bit more that they needed to do once they got in there and really saw what was going on. And Aaron Boone announced today that he had repaired UCL and reconstructed at UCL, essentially Tommy John surgery. And while Aaron Boone did not want to speculate on a timeline, he did not want to get into whether or not he would be available during the 2022 season. But typically, recovery for Tommy John is about a year. So that is something to keep an eye on next year for Zach Britton. Certainly a rough break for him. He meant so much to this Yankees bullpen. Now, Garrett Cole exited Tuesday's game with some hamstring tightness. And Aaron Boone said there is some good news on Garrett Cole today. He was out on the field earlier playing catch. And while he's not going to make his scheduled start on Sunday, Aaron Boone did say that Monday or Tuesday is a possibility. He'll throw a bullpen in coming days, and then the Yankees will know a bit more thereafter based on how that hamstring responds. So exactly what does that mean for the rotation during the Mets series? Here is a look at it. Jordan Montgomery will go in game one tomorrow night, followed by Corey Kluber. And then still to be determined on Sunday, Aaron Boone did say Michael King is expected to be activated tomorrow. Clark Schmidt possibly could be in the mix for that one. And Luis Heal remains on the roster. Obviously, he would not go on Sunday just starting yesterday, but he will get another start with this Yankees team. And you look at Heal last night. He went three and a third innings, 91 pitches, and just really struggled seven walks throughout that one. As a result, the Yankees really had to once again lean heavily on their bullpen. So Aaron Boone's options in the pen tonight are once again limited. They certainly can use some length from Nestor Cortez. Now, Aaron Boone was asked if they get into a safe situation late in this one, would he hesitate going to Araldus Chapman? Chapman once again struggled last night. He has not found consistency on the mound over the last couple of weeks. And Aaron Boone was asked just what he's been seeing from Chapman on the mound. Sinking him up mechanically, um, consistently. Um, you know, it's obviously a... a unique and what's what's made him so special is how special the delivery is and just you know how that kinetic chain is is makes him so explosive um but you know it's been a little bit of an issue syncing it up throughout the year and that's where he's had some of the ups and downs with that with whether it be stuff whether it be command but we just got to keep working at, at getting that um in a good spot Chapman did throw 24 pitches last night, but Aaron Boone said he is an option if they find themselves in that situation and added Chapman has been working his tail off trying to get right. He continues to say Chapman is going to have to play a role, a big role, if this team is going to do something. But, Bob, it has just been a struggle all the way around for this Yankees team lately, whether it be the offense, the pitching staff, or injuries. It just seems like they've been getting hit from every angle.